Hello everyone, this is Electric Circuit Lab uh, Experiment 1. Uh, first, in the first part, uh, we need to construct uh, the circuit as in figure 1.1. 1 .1. uh, first of all, we need to uh, measure uh, resistance. To do this, we need to set the uh, multimeter like this. Com is al always connected to uh, uh, com part, but uh, the red cable need to uh, connect it to uh, ohm meter part. Uh, then uh, I I'm supposed to measure uh, kilo ohm uh, resistance, so uh, I need to set the range as uh, 20 kilo ohms. Let me first measure the resistance. First, I start with uh, R1. This is 2.16 or 17. Then I go on with R2. This is zero point ninety nine. Then R3 oh. this, this is wrong this is R3 okay 3.21 These are kilo ohms. So let me reconstruct the circuit again. This is R1. So all the vertical points on the breadboard are the uh, same points. They connected from inside. We construct our circuits accordingly. So um, this must be serious with R1 and R2 and R3 must be parallel. So starting and ending point must be the same point like this. Yes. Let me show you closer. This is our circuit. So uh, in C, uh, I need to measure the uh, equivalent resistance. I just connect here and at the end of it. What I read is the equivalent resistance. This. 2.93 kilo ohms. Kilo ohms. Then uh, I'm going to change the circuit. I give some voltage as in figure 1.2. 1 so I'm going to open our power supply and connect them let me first measure the voltage input so I'm going to change 
uh, voltmeter setup and let's see yeah it is 12 volts already and connect plus terminal here and the ground here so my circuit is complete now if you want to see a bit closer so I need to measure uh, currents on resistors so um, I'm going to change configuration of the multimeter I'm going to connect the red cable here current part com is the same then I'm going to set to read 200 milliamps to measure the current on a resist resistor uh, we need to uh, connect the multimeter in series to do this I'm just disconnected this terminal and connect with the multimeter then the COM terminal must be connected the other resistance terminal so I think this configuration is right so I'm reading uh, 4 milliamps Then I need to change it to read I2. R2 is 1 kilo ohm, so I connect R1 as in before to measure I2. I disconnect. It's terminal and I connect the multimeter then output of the multimeter must be connected to R2 so this must be the configuration oh that was something is missing yes I forget to connect the ground okay uh, it's 3.1 milliamp let me record it 3.1 milliamps so to measure I3 I'm going to do the same thing So let me put R2 the original place. The point is the same for uh, R2 and R3, so I need to disconnect this terminal and connect the COM port to the R3. So it measures uh, 0 0.9 milliamps.
So we measured all the currents in part H. Uh, we need to measure all the voltages. It's a little bit easier than measuring currents. I just need to connect multimeter uh, parallel to the uh, resistance. Then, first of all, I need to change the configuration of the multimeter. Then I connect the red cable again the voltage terminal and I change to 20 volts range so I'm measuring V1 on R1 I read 8.9 volts. The voltage on R2 is 3.13 volts. and the voltage on R3 must be the same but of course we have to measure and see it 3.13 volts okay this is the end of the first part next we continue with the second part in part 2 we need to construct the circuit uh, shown in figure 1.3 uh, I did this it's like this the R1 connected to uh, R2 and uh, R3 parallelly and R2 and R3 are series now so uh, I use the same resistors so uh, the resistance values for R1, R2 and R3 are the same. Uh, in part C, I'm going to measure uh, the equivalent resistance. And I set the multimeter accordingly. And I measure 1.43 kilo ohms. Then uh, I need to connect the 12 volt water source again. Let me do this. Then I measure currents again for part E. So the configuration must be changed. So I set the multimeter again and for first resistor I need to connect this, this series so um, okay let me do this way I connect the at end of the first resistors to uh, input of the multimeter then output of the multimeter must be connected to that point uh, the ground so I measure 5.5 milliamps
I2 Unit measure I2 It's disconnected uh. It's sometimes hard to find the point Okay, um, now Again, I'm connecting in series Okay Now uh, I'm reading 2.8 milliamps I3 must be the same, but let's measure and see. As you see, it's again 2.8. So we need to measure IS also. The current through the. Okay, now I'm going to measure IS. To do this, I connect multimeter input to source directly. Then it series the whole circuit. As you can guess, the IS 8.3 milliamps. Um, I wrote this right, wrong, but I'm going to correct it yes. yes so uh, for H part we need to measure voltage again so I'm going to change the configuration of multimeter for voltage reading So V1 as you can guess must be 12 11.99 V2 2.84 and V3 2.84 Okay, this is the end of the second part. We continue with the third part. In part three, we have a fourth resistor, uh, and its value is uh, 4.66 kilo ohms. Uh, we need to uh, construct the circuit as in figure 1.5. I did this. 
as you can see uh, R1 and uh, R2 must be in series and R2 uh, R3 and R4 must be series and they are uh, parallel to e each other I need to apply 16 volts so I set the power supply voltage as 16 volts I connect it now my circuit is ready to measure first uh, in part D we need to measure V2 so V2 let's measure it's 9.46 V4 in part D we need to measure V4 and this is 5.06 in part F we need to measure VAB VAB is in between A and B points so I need to connect the voltmeter between A and B points the A point must be here and B must be here connection point of the series resistors and VAB is 4.40 volts in part I we need to measure IS so uh, I need to change the configuration of multimeter so I disconnect it and I change the probes and set it to current measurement. To measure IS, I connect power supply positive terminal to input of the multimeter. Then output of the multimeter must be connected to the circuit. And I'm reading seven milliamps this is the end of the part three we will continue with part four in part four we have a circuit as in figure 1.6 let me show you the R1 in series with uh, uh, R2 and they are uh, parallel uh, R3 and R4 R series and they are parallel to R2 as in the figure uh, we need to apply 20 volts let me set it 20 it's now out of the range Maybe I need to set the range again. Now it seems twin. Okay. So again, I'm applying the voltage to the circuit. Twenty volts. So. Uh, I use the same resistance as before uh, we need to measure V4 in part C so uh, V4 to measure the 
voltage I set it and then voltage on V4 2.38 in part E we need to disconnect the power supply and measure the equivalent resistance so I disconnected I disconnected the power supply let me check the circuit again Okay now, so I change the resistance measurements. And I measure the resistance. Okay, it reads 3.06 kilo ohms. Okay, this is the end of the uh, first experiment. Thank you for listening.